Hi, welcome to Tea and Mystics. Today I'm going to be discussing the film The Burmese Harp while I'm sipping on some Par Amion Pisces tea. The film The Burmese Harp is a 1957 film that tells the story of a Japanese army private who's thought to be dead and also shares the tale of what happens to his army regiment. All this takes place in Burma right after World War II and the Japanese army has surrendered. An army private is sent out on a special mission alone and it's thought that he dies during this mission. But the army pr private has not died and he does end up disguising himself as a Buddhist monk to then um, walk through Burma to meet up with his army regiment again. The film follows the story of the army private who disguises himself as a monk and also that of his army regiment that he wants to meet up with. The army regiment itself is holding out hope that their um, friend and fellow soldier is still alive and um, the army private himself is also at first trying to reach his, um, as I said, former regiment. But as he's walking through Burma, he comes across many of the dead bodies of fellow Japanese soldiers and this has a profound effect on him. The film itself definitely has a strong anti-war stance and I think one of the things that's really beautiful about the film is its look at ritual and ritual that goes around along with how we care for the bodies and the spirit of those who have deceased. For the army private who's disguised as a monk, he has this profound change that happens after he sees many of the dead bodies around him and this leads to an inner change of him and him then devoting himself to learning more about Buddhism, to become a full Buddhist monk and also devoting himself to care for the bodies that have been left behind. The film offers some really interesting contrasts with death and beauty in the same land. You have these, you know, horrific shots of just some bodies that are, you know, left to decay, but then also some really beautiful shots of the Burmese countryside. And also there is a lovely use of music within the film and the titular Burmese harp plays a very important role within the film so there is the beauty of music also mixed in with the decay that goes around with war and what's left behind. So I would definitely recommend the film if it sounds like something that you would be interested in. It definitely leaves you with a lot to think about. Today I am sipping on Par Avignon's Pisces tea which is a green tea with turmeric and ginger. I'm definitely enjoying it. It has more of a subtle ginger flavor and um, it's nice for sort of like an afternoon relaxing tea. I really enjoy that Par Avignon has these teas that are made for each of the astrological signs. I think that's a really fun idea and um, you know, I'm a Pisces, so that's why I got Pisces tea. The one thing I say would say again, and it, I sort of mentioned it in my Fluffy Panda uh, Par Avignon review, is that they put a lot of thought into the ideas behind the tea and then the packaging, except that the way they actually put the sticker on the tin is a little sloppy and it makes it difficult to actually get the tin open. And then it loses you know, the visual appeal that it had and so much thought was put into it. So, you know, maybe it just happened to be the batch I got because um, I, I would like to try their teas again. And, you know, maybe it's just me being a little picky on the visual. But as for the taste, I really enjoy it. If you like more of a subtle ginger flavor with some green tea, I would definitely um, recommend Pisces. Thanks so much for spending some time with Tea and Mystics. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe down below and hit the bell so you always know when there's a new video. Cheers!